What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. We are here at the Suzuki booth and I want to take a look at the Bergman 400, the 2024 Bergman 400. It hasn't been changed in a long time, but anyway, let's give it a chance. Let's take a look at it. So what are we working with? We're working with a 400cc, 29 horsepower engine with 35 newton meters of torque, 218 kilograms and a 13 liter fuel tank. We have four colors on display, the Argento New York, which should be that one, the Grigio Londra, which should be that one, and the Nero Parigi, which should be that one. Or actually, I think this is the Nero and that's the Grigio, gray, black, silver. In terms of scooter, what else do we have? We have dual discs up front we have led headlights we have a decently sized windscreen for the normal model we'll get to that in a moment we have uh, two cubby holes here a very nice dash with uh, dual analog uh, gauges and a single little lcd screen in the middle let me turn on the light so you can see better Yes, a little screen in the middle. We have a piano black trim here, a plastic covered uh, handlebar, normal handlebar controls. We do have traction control on this model. We have a parking brake here. We have a normal regular key here. Is the seat open? No, it is not. We have our fuel tank right here, which you can open, but uh, so fuel tank, you have to open like this and then use your key in here. That's a bit, uh, stupid you could put it in the key seat well it's a little bit narrow in terms of seat and this is all you get as a backrest is basically the size of my palm passenger f seems to be faring a little bit better but then again it's it's angle sloped like this and i'm i suspect the passenger is gonna have problems sliding forward but it is what it is Rear tail lights, they are both LED and we have our muffler on the side and transmission on the other side. Getting on the machine, the, tr the fuel tunnel the f uh, is pretty low so it's easy to step over it. You have a nice commanding view over the scooter. Uh, the windshield isn't all that big but for city riding it should be just about right. The handlebar is nice and swept back to you. you have ample legroom but you see you have ample legroom but the seat the seat is narrow i don't know if you can see now i know i have a big fat ass but my my ass is falling out of the seat if you can see the seat should have been a little bit wider now on motorcycles yes you put your feet to like here and you have your tank here and you have no problem that you have uh, a narrower seat but on scooters i'm supposed to put my feet up here and uh, i'm falling out of the seat but yeah, that's one complaint of it. But let's move on to the model next to it because I think this might be a little bit more interesting because this is set up as the Bergman used to be set up with a big windscreen on the front, a touring style windscreen. We have uh, luggage on the back. We have a big top case with uh, a passenger backrest. We have handguards the handguards that have been on the 400 for the past 20 years but you find them here on this touring variant and uh, this should be more of what the Bergman used to be the Bergman used to be a maxi scooter made for touring and uh, unfortunately the seat on this one is just about the same and I'm not joking about with it's as wide as my hand the seat is at, as wide as my hand so when you get on this one you have an even better commanding view. You feel more that you sit inside with the big windscreen and the hand guards. But I still have the problem that I am falling off the scooter. Now I know in corners and everything you're gonna sit, but it's a very uncomfortable to feel my half of my ass cheeks falling to the side. And uh, here I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant and on a bit of a tangent. Because uh, last year I did not film the Suzuki Bergman and believe me all three of these were in exactly the same place in this exact hall in exactly the same place and I didn't film them because because I didn't want to be mean you see I'm 
I'm, I'm pretty mad with Suzuki and the, with the Bergman lineup. The Bergman used to be an awesome touring machine. The 400 and the 650 were the inventors of the scooter touring, the scooter touring, the scooter touring movement. They made, they showed the world that you could tour on a scooter. And this is what the Bergman has become. The 650 is no longer available and the 400 is a shadow of its former self no longer as comfortable no longer as touring oriented as it used to be and you have now manufacturers like sim like zontes like cf moto like a lot of manufacturers coming out with 400 500 cc class scooters made for touring and the original bergman well it forgot where it came from suzuki should really start taking the bergman back to its roots and bringing out a 400 or a 500c bergman properly made for touring because that's what the bergman name was a touring scooter a luxury touring machine it was a goldwing with an with an automatic transmission before the goldwing dct was ever invented but yeah, that's my rant on the little Bergman. It's a decent scooter, but if you want a true Bergman, get the previous generation secondhand. This thing doesn't know what it wants to be. It's as big as a maxi scooter, but it's uh, not as comfortable and it's not as good at touring as it used to be. It's basically as comfortable at touring as a 125cc city scooter is, but it's as big as a maxi scooter. So yeah. That's been my coverage of the Bergman 400 from the Icon 2023. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.